How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today we have to take a look at the crypto market, give you an update on some big news from some altcoins and some things to be careful of moving forward. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe button, I appreciate that. Turn on that bell notification so you know right when I post a video. I've been making daily videos, so I will be here every single day with some of the top news. So I do want to talk to you about Earn Guild too, a new partner of the channel, but I'll talk more about that later. There are timestamps underneath the video in case you want to move around, but I would highly suggest staying through to the end. So overall, crypto's doing pretty well today. Up on the 24 hour, almost every single crypto. And there actually is some big news with one of the top cryptos, which again, I'll talk about here in a bit. But Bitcoin broke out a little bit here today. From this downtrend, we went through the resistance that we have been uh, hitting and we bounced through it. Now we're coming down a little bit. We were on 39,000 earlier. Now we're about 38,500. Overall, the market seems to be more bullish here today than it has been in a while. Just the sentiment is a little bit better. The stock market is down. The Nasdaq's down almost 1% on the day, still with a lot of fears over Russia and with rate hikes coming and with inflation data coming out on Friday, you can tell that there's definitely some some nervousness in the market. Now, some analysts are saying that they're pretty bullish over the coming months. Will Clemente is talking about this. He talks about their strong holding behavior on chain. A lot of uh, the short term holders have already gotten out. You can see here we're at really low levels for short term holders. We also have a good amount of money on the sideline. So this is the dry powder ratio here. And we're at the highest level that we've been in a year. Now, I don't know exactly what this is. I'm assuming it is stable coin compared to overall crypto. I'm not exactly sure. He doesn't really go into it and I try to look it up, but it basically shows how much dry powder there is on the side, how much stable coin there is on the side ready to buy. So a lot of people really getting excited probably if we fall back down to that 33 mark that we were at just a few days ago. Now, uh, one interesting thing is if we look at some of the top cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin's down on the seven day, Ethereum's down, BNB is down, pretty much everything that's not a stable coin is down. However, there are only three cryptos in the top 100 that are actually up on the last seven days. One is Terra. One is this Sia or this Una said Leo token, which has to do with the Bitfinex hack. They're basically saying, if we get money back, we will go buy these tokens uh, back from the public. And then one is Anchor Protocols token, and it's now gone up a good amount, 35% over the last week. It's in the top 100 now. So why is Terra's ecosystem growing so, so strong right now? Well, they just jumped 15% as a UST stablecoin gets $1 billion Bitcoin reserve. So this is really interesting and I'll tell you more about it, but first I want a word from our sponsor. So before we go any further, I want to talk to you about a new partner of the channel, Earn Guild. If you don't know what these play to earn guilds are, they basically bring together players and investors in one spot because it's hard to get into some of these play to earn gaming games because it is expensive to get in, but some investors just don't have the time to play. They have uh, 5,000 total scholars playing and in training. They have 500 new scholarship applications a day. 10,000 is their goal for the end of the year, and they've already had 8.1 million in funding rounds so far. So they have a variety of different games that they play. They do have some cool features too, such as an NFT marketplace where you can lend, borrow, and earn. You can also use their all-in-one dashboard and even increase your play to earn gaming skills with their education and coaching. And the cool thing is they do have their own guild debit card. So this is the only guild I know of that has a debit card and you can use this anywhere where MasterCard is accepted. And this allows them to get access to multi-currency accounts, crypto wallets, banks, transfers, they have a good number of investors, like we said earlier, they've already done some big funding rounds and they do have their own earned token, which is going to have their IDO on PancakeSwap on February 22. This can be used on the Guild Marketplace, it can be a revenue share, it can be exchange for game tokens, etc. They already had a couple of funding rounds and their team only has about 10% of their token supply, which I think is pretty responsible. They're also fully doxxed, meaning they have their names and faces. You can go check them out on their website. I think this is always a good thing. And they were named one of the best gaming guilds recently by Tirano Analytics. So definitely check out this project. I have links to their social underneath the video. They do seem really promising and they are having their IDO here soon on PancakeSwap. And if you do live in the US, you have to be careful because they say 
purchased by U.S. citizens is strictly forbidden. This is not a registered security with the SEC. So if you're in the U.S., you have to sit this one out. Again, it's a partner of the channel, but I want to bring it to your attention because they are growing quickly and there's a lot of interest in this and play to earn games are probably going to explode over the coming years. Now, of course, with new projects, there's always some added risk. So just take that into account when you're looking at investing. Like I said earlier, Terra Luna jumped 15% as USD stablecoin gets $1 billion Bitcoin reserve. So what is this exactly? Well, they are now raising a billion dollars led by some of the biggest investors in cryptocurrency. So LFG, which is the Luna Foundation Guard, which pretty cool name. Uh, <laughs> LFG announced on Tuesday that it raised $1 billion through private token sales to build the Bitcoin reserve. So they sold Terra tokens and buyers will lock up the coins for a four year vesting period. This is led by Jump Crypto and Three Arrows Capital, two really big names in crypto. Raising a BTC reserve is a smart move and may result in lesser fluctuations of USD during future bouts of market volatility. Ideally, LFG would take steps to keep the reserve 100% on chain for transparency instead of going through centralized means as in these two big backers. However, the price action of Luna since this announcement has been largely promising and restoring confidence to the Terra, the Terra ecosystem. So there's a lot of fear that when uh, when the market sells off that Luna would lose its peg because right now it's basically a system that's very different from a lot of other. It's, uh, it's not backed by US dollars or, or something else. It's backed because you can trade one UST, one dollar, or one UST for one dollar of Luna, and one dollar of Luna back to one UST. So if the price changes, you can just arbitrage that and get your money back. But people were worried about this downward spiral. So this is what people are worried about, basically, that there would be a broad market sell-off causing Luna to fall in value, UST holders would fear a peg break, basically saying that UST won't be worth a dollar and sell their UST, and then more Luna will be minted, and then uh, this will lead to further decline, so kind of a downward spiral. So instead, now they are backing with, with BTC. So the Bitcoin reserve is expected to mitigate the risk to some extent, given the top cryptocurrency is less correlated to Terra's ecosystem, and arbitragers can swap UST to Bitcoin to support UST's peg. Now, when I heard this originally, I didn't think these were interswappable. I just thought that this was kind of a reserve that didn't really have much use, unless maybe UST went down significantly, then they would give out Bitcoin. I didn't really know what was going on, but now, that you know you can trade ust to bitcoin that could be attractive to some people that lowers the risk and anchor just got a huge influx of cash too so a lot of people worried about this yield reserve this is basically what they take from when they don't have enough income coming in they take from this yield reserve and someone uh, deposited half a billion dollars so they have a good amount of runway and now they have bitcoin backing ust which i think is a huge a huge thing for the project and is why it has gone up pretty significantly here soon Terra has but then also anchor protocol has so both of these are really important and if you've been able to get in on anchor and then borrow and get some of the anchor protocol tokens you're sitting really pretty right now so i thought that was really cool and like i've said i have a significant amount of money on anchor i know some people uh, gave me a hard time in one of my last passive income videos because you know, a lot of people don't have that much money sitting around that they can go put on Anchor. But 20%, no matter where you're looking, is a good amount, especially if it's not necessarily guaranteed, but it's more guaranteed than the crypto market, right? We have no idea what's gonna happen to crypto over the coming months, but this is at least steady, steady increase. So that was really great news coming over from Terra. And we did get some news from Mexico, Mexican senator to propose a crypto law. We need Bitcoin as legal tender. I just covered this a few days ago that El Salvador tourism grew 30% and their GDP grew 10% uh, over the last year. And a lot of that is due to Bitcoin becoming legal tender. The senator representing this state in Mexico is confident that Bitcoin should be legal tender in Mexico because of its adoption and it can drive global financial inclusion. It's clear to me that financial exclusion is one of the public problems that few of us have addressed with feasible alternatives and that this type of technology is allowing us to generate an alternative so that millions of people 
can be included in the financial system. It's supposed to go to Mexican Congress later this year. But if this goes through, that could be huge news when it eventually happens. Now, one other piece of news that I just hate reading these things, but it comes up all the time. And I had someone just contact me about getting scammed. I think it was just yesterday, uh, an open sea problem. But this just came out. Woman loses $390,000 in online crypto dating scam. And this was kind of a slow scam. So basically what happened was this woman was looking for someone on Hinge, if you've heard that, the dating app, and the person started uh, talking to her, they became friends. He said that he was investing in cryptocurrency and said that she should too. She started on crypto.com, but then he sent her a link to transfer the funds somewhere else to an exchange. And at first she just did a little bit and then she did more and more and more. And then she got her father to do it too. And they had $1.2 million in this and they all got scammed. So if you are someone that's watching this video, you probably are less likely to get scammed than someone that doesn't watch crypto videos in their free time. But it can happen to almost anyone. I've had you know creators of projects, new projects, uh, reach out to me thinking that they were working with me, but it was a scammer. So if you are in cryptocurrency and you know not to get scammed, listen for people around you that could potentially get scammed because this is going to happen to a lot of people over the coming years. It's a huge business and people are making a lot of money. So be careful. Try to help people out around you as much as possible. If you can try to stop this from happening because I hate hearing about it, but I'm sure you guys do too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for hitting the like button and subscribe button. You can check out the links down below again to earn guild. Of course, always do your research. New projects are risky, but they also sometimes provide a great upside. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.